Hey everyone, I just wanted to show you an update. There's my radishes, my snap peas and my carrots, my two things of lettuce, my leaf lettuce, broccoli, and my broccoli's getting eat just a little, so I put some snail bait on the on the ground around the pots. Just until I get other stuff to deal with it. Beets, cauliflower, the lettuce, the pots, um, potatoes, and uh, they're doing good. And I did another one, so we'll see how those come up. Um, I have strawberries over here that are growing leaves. Rainer, say hi to Rainer. Hello, Rainer. Say hi, Rainer. Hi. <laughs> hi. Okay, my green zebra tomato there. Those are my, let me get out of the light so you guys can see better. There's my Mr. Stripey. Cheyenne. The green grape, which I have to view from the outside because they're so big. Another green stripey, or green, yeah, green, green tomato. Tiny Tam. My son's bean, Destin. Mint. This one is my uh, marigold, and I have a couple others in here. Some basil. Some peppers, sunflowers. Sunflowers are getting enormous and I'm going to have to plant them ASAP is what I've been told. Because they'll get too big and too stocky and then they'll fall over when they get bigger because they don't have much room to grow in. Um, oregano back there. Another marigold. Jalapeno. My beetberry strawberries. Hillbilly tomato. I gotta transplant that. My daughter's four watermelons, which I have no idea where we're gonna put those. Um, back in the corner back here is some alpine strawberries. And these guys I've already showed you and gave you details. These are all my peppers. So, and I'm getting flowers. Check this out. There's a flower. Finally. And my seedlings have little itty bitty, but um, where you can notice that the flower is starting to produce, or the um, there you go, getting there. Come on, flowers! My green and orange uh, bell peppers you're doing great. My green and molted zucchini, one's there. And one's over here. There. And uh, I think, oh, my, if you can see it, spearmint. And my rhubarb, which I finally put outside. And my strawberries, look good. There they are again. Over here is my red raspberry and my white raspberry. Hi, Rainer! White raspberry. Wave, say hi! 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 There's, we have beds. Chicken wire temporarily. And the other one, I put weed berry on, on the bottom. And I used cedar boards, which is what I was told is the best, untreated. So we'll see how that works out. So guys. And then up here, I have a couple more rhubarb. Well, the story about this rhubarb is it was stuck in a milk jug. And I had one side of it where you couldn't see it. I picked it up to dump it out. And realized it was growing all curled up inside the actual handle of this milk jug. 
So I pulled it out and transplanted it and look, it doesn't look all crinkled anymore. Maybe I'll clip that video in <laughs> at the very end. And that's a rhubarb plant too. So there's my garden. Uh, pretty good so far other than uh, a couple sn uh, slugs or something eating my broccoli and my lettuce. But I took care of that by sprinkling stuff on the ground. So I hope everything is going great for you and it's going great for me and I'll talk to you later. Have a great day. <laughs> Bye. Hi again. So I got a story for you. I went ahead, checked this little guy out. We were moving, and this little guy, all these little guys got trampled that were in here. There was like three or four of them. Along with my other rhubarb that I've showed you, and that are growing better and gone downhill and then got better. And uh, this one has a story. We were traveling, and we thought this was all dead, and there was nothing here about two months ago at all nothing I set it outside on my front porch and today we were looking at it and this is a back of a, a milk jug and what we did was I was looking at it because I was going to dump it out and lo and behold back in the back corner where the handle was I see this little rhubarb plant sticking out <laughs> So we're going to go ahead and transplant this thing and see if it grows. It, it's it kind of curled up and, see, kind of curled up and shriveled up. So we're going to replant it, and I'll show it to you in my next video and see how this little guy does. So he's holding on by a string. I mean, he's not got much, not got much there, you know, so... I'm going to transplant him. I'm going to put that root a little deeper and see if it grows. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.